Locate the FB Multipeer application on your computer. Double click on the application to launch the software. Upon opening the application, the welcome screen will appear. In this tutorial, we will investigate the element forces of a default pile. To create a default pile model, select the new icon located in the top left corner of the page as shown. After selecting the new icon, FB Multipeer will prompt you to select the model type and desired units. For simplicity, we will be demonstrating a default pile model in English units. After selecting the pile model type, click OK to load the default pile model. After creating the default pile model, the user interface will display four individual windows as shown here. The top left window, entitled Model Data, allows you to directly input analysis and design parameters for your model. The top right window, entitled Pile Plan View, provides a cross-sectional view of the foundation. Since we are working with the default single pile model in this tutorial, the pile cross-section is displayed. The bottom left window, entitled Soil Edit, displays any equivalent soil resistance that was set in the creation of the model. For the default pile model, two sand layers have already been defined. Note that FB Multipeer employs equivalent springs to model the resistance provided by the soil and rock media. Finally, the bottom right window entitled 3D View displays a 3D view of the model. Once the structure has been configured with the desired loading and analysis settings within the model data window, select the analysis icon. Selecting this icon will perform an analysis on the selected structure based upon the specified loading and analysis settings. The analysis will typically only require a few moments to run, depending upon the complexity of the loading scenario and the model. FB Multipeer will indicate the analysis has completed by updating the program status in the analysis window. For example, analysis complete is displayed in the pop-up window if the program is able to find an equilibrium solution for all defined load cases. Once the analysis in the selected structure has completed, select the 3D results icon. Selecting this icon will provide you with the visualized result of the loading applied to the structure based upon the input parameters set before the analysis. Here, the visualized result includes a view of the structure in the deformed state. Upon selecting the 3D results icon, two separate windows will appear. To the left, the 3D display control icon allows you to control what is displayed in the window to the right. The 3D display control window also provides information on nodal displacements and rotations. To the right, the 3D results view provides a rendering of the structure in the deformed state. To view the resultant forces within an element of interest, right click in the 3D results view window. A host of visual and numerical options pertaining to the acquisition and visualization of data will be presented. From this list, select element forces. Upon selecting element forces, a tabular view of various parameters of interest will be presented. To obtain the results for a particular frame element of interest, simply select the frame element visualized within the 3D results view. You will know when the frame element has been successfully selected when the element turns orange. The element forces table will then automatically populate with corresponding data for the selected frame element. Conveniently, the results provided per frame element may be exported into Excel for additional investigation or data manipulation. This feature may be useful for those who wish to track structural responses at a specific location under various loading conditions. Upon selecting the Excel button, an Excel window will automatically open. Here, data of interest will populate the spreadsheet. From the spreadsheet, data may be manipulated or extracted as desired. 